Tuesday, April 17th is tax day this year. There'll be publicity about income tax day, but it's misleading because income taxes are just a fraction of what we pay. And income taxes are arguably way too high, but they actually make up less than half of our personal tax burden. Kristen Tate just wrote what she calls a field guide to the American tax ripoff. How do I tax the explores the many other taxes we pay? It's crazy. California has a tax on fresh fruit that comes from vending machines. Car registration, entertainment tax, admissions tax for movies, property taxes, garbage taxes. This isn't an exaggeration. Every time you do anything, you're really paying taxes. Rifle tax, plane ticket tax, but these are tiny taxes. Well, some of them actually aren't tiny taxes. The reason I wrote this book is because I was getting charged about $200 a month by Comcast for my cable bill. $36 of it was tax. These kinds of fees are inflating every bill we pay. Why should we believe you? You're 12 years old. Well, I did the research. All of this information is available online. The results were shocking. What do you think you pay in taxes? Most people don't know what they pay. I think it's 22%. I'm probably paying closer to uh, 20%. Did you take a plane here? I did. Did you know you paid 20% in taxes on your ticket? I did not realize it was that much, no. How much are you paying for your hotel? Uh, it's about $100 a night. So about $20 of that is going right to taxes. Wow. They get us everywhere. Uh, I think I need to get a side job that pays cash. <laughs> we need taxes to pay for government. Of course we need taxes. The problem is that we're often being taxed without even knowing it. <laughs> from going to a restaurant with our friends, to buying a movie ticket, to riding the subway. We're getting taxed on those expenses. In Colorado, they tax non-essential food items like napkins, bibs, and straws. In New York, they have a bagel cutting tax, which you get charged for whenever you buy a pre-sliced bagel ready for consumption. The whole bagel, you don't pay the tax. Yeah, you don't pay the tax if you buy the whole bagel. So I always get my bagels non-sliced to avoid this tax. This is a left-wing town. <laughs> they love high taxes. It's part of the deal. If New Yorkers want to pay high taxes, they can vote for high taxes. My problem is the way that these taxes are implemented. Politicians are cowards. Instead of creating a tax, they magically create these little fees and they don't have to tell their voters they raised taxes. So people don't know. I have a list here of 100 different taxes that you pay. Hey, even they tax me on the beer that I drink. Uncle Sam just kills me, you know. Can you think of anything you do in life that is not taxed? No, I can't. When I sleep, am I being taxed? <laughs> <laughs> Everything's taxed, even when I breathe. A dollar ten increase in the 911 phone tax. 911 fees pay for important emergency services. Actually, no. In most states and cities, the 911 fees are just going to general funds. Chicago, for instance, they hiked their 911 fee in 2008. There was no Olympics in Chicago, but they kept that fee in place. And then in 2014, they raised it again. Once they put them there, they almost never go away. Absolutely not. Government only grows. Can we go for a walk? Finally. There's the pet licensing tax. This is one tax that Tate and her dog refuse to pay. In most cities, it doesn't go to dogs. It just goes to the general fund, like all of these other fees. By saying, I'm not paying this, you're, you're taking a risk. Some you know, vindictive bureaucrat. <laughs> I am taking a risk. Uh, I, I just... We pay so much of our money to the... The dogs put you over the top? <laughs> it's the little things, John. The little things add up. What you pay in income tax is probably less than half your total tax burden.